Planning Board meeting Thursday, April 7, 2022. I hereby declare this meeting of the Howell Township Planning Board to be open. Adequate notice having been given pursuant to the New Jersey Open Public Meeting Act in the following manner. First, on January 7, 2022, the copy of said notice was mailed to the Asbury Park Press and the Tritown News. Second, on January 7, 2022, a copy of said notice was hand delivered to the clerk of the Township of Howell. Third, on January 7, 2022, said notice was posted in the Office of the Planning Board and on the Bulletin Board in the Howell Township Municipal Building, 4567, Route 9, Howell Township, New Jersey. Members of the public will have a chance to ask questions and comment on applications once the chairman opens the hearing up to the members of the public. If you wish to ask questions or comment on an application, you will need to use the raise your hand feature and we'll bring you into the meeting one at a time. You will need to have audio and video capability. You will be sworn in and required to give your name and address. For anyone calling in on the phone, you can press star nine to raise or lower your hand and star six to mute or unmute yourself. Please note that this meeting is being videotaped for possible future broadcast on Howell Township TV 77. Thank you. Thank you. A roll call, please. Mr. Bavai. Here. Mr. Cristiano. Here. Mr. Dorado. He said he could not make it tonight. Mr. Greenfield. Here. Mr. Husser said he may be late. Mr. Nicastro has been excused. Mr. Siemens been excused. Mr. Spanville. Here. Ms. Talenti. Here. And Chairman Tannenhaus. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you. Can everybody please rise for a moment of silence and for all of those first responders and those serving both here and abroad. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of, the of United the United States, States of America and, and to, to the republic for which, for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all. Thank you. <laughs> Eileen, any approval of minutes? I have no minutes this evening. Vouchers. I have no vouchers this evening. Correspondence. Correspondence, the first item is to just let the board know that I believe we're staying on Zoom for the time being. I had cleared that with Brian, uh, Mr. T Chairman Tannenhaus, and he said to leave it on Zoom. So for members of the board, we will be on Zoom. Uh, the next item is a letter from Adam Fiella. He is the attorney for Mammoth Commerce Center. They ask that we adjourn tonight's hearing for Mammoth Commerce to the hearing of May 12th to provide sufficient time to respond to the review letters from the planning board's consultants. And they will notice for the May 12th hearing, they did not notice for tonight. So they're actually rescheduled to May 12th. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you wanna make a note uh, announcement or anything. Go ahead, Ron, you've got him on mute. Since they're going to um, re-notice, there's no announcement that's necessary. It'll okay. be uh, all part of that notice. Thank you. And the last item I have is an email from Mr. Pape. He asked that this matter uh, for 90 Industrial Court LLC, which is on tonight's hear uh, hearing, be carried to the board's May 19th, 2022 planning board hearing. Uh, the applicant is requesting time to prepare, prepare revisions and responses to comments and concerns brought to the applicant's attention by the planning board professionals. And he asked that jurisdiction be accepted tonight and that the matter be carried to May 19th without the requirement of re-notice. Okay, on the first part of that, um, I have not reviewed the... Uh, the affidavit of, of uh, publication and service. Have you, Eileen? Yes, I have. It's correct. It's in, in order. Okay. And then what date again, Eileen? Are we May carrying 19th. them? May 19th. Okay. The application of 90 Industrial Court LLC, case number SP1098, will be carried to the board's May 19th, 2022 meeting 
I mean, I guess uh, based upon what you said, that will be a virtual meeting. Yes. That will be a virtual meeting beginning seven o'clock. Uh, the instructions on how to access the meeting will be available on the township's website and all documents associated with the application will also be available on the township's website. There'll be no further notice to property owners. Before we continue, let the record reflect that Paul Dorado has joined the meeting. And that's all the correspondence I have. Thank you. All right, any submission waivers? We have resolutions. I'm oh, sorry, resolution. Resolution case number SD-3000, John Kennedy, Kenny Kelly, sorry. Eligible voters, uh, Mr. Cristiano, Mr. Dorado, now that he's here, and Ms. Talente. Do I have a motion? I make motion. Second? Second. Thank you. Roll call, please. Mr. Cristiano? Yes. Mr. Dorado? Yes. And Ms. Talente? Yes. Motion resolutions memorialized. Thank you. Case number SP-1101, Alaire Road for submission waivers. Eligible voters, Mr. Bavai, Mr. Cristiano, Mr. Greenfield, Mr. Spanville, and Ms. Talente. Do I have a motion? So moved. Thank you. Second? I'll second. Mr. Bavai? Yes. Mr. Cristiano? Yes. Mr. Greenfield? Yes. Mr. Spanville? Yes. And Ms. Talente? Yes. Motion carries resolutions memorialized. Okay, the next uh, resolution is case number SP-1093 for Ecosystems LLC. Eligible voters are Mr. Bavai, Mr. Cristiano, Mr. Greenfield, Mr. Spanville and Spanville, and Ms. Talente. Do I have a motion? I'll make a no motion. motion. I'll second it. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Roll call, please. Mr. Bavai? Yes. Mr. Cristiano? Yes. Mr. Greenfield? Yes. Mr. Spanville? Yes. And Ms. Talente? Yes. Motion carries resolutions memorialized. Hey, any submission waivers? I have no submission waivers this evening. Okay, the application before us is case number SP-1101, Alera Road, LLC. Minor site plan. We have attorney Dante Alfieri here representing the applicant. Okay, thank you. Dante, can you tell me who else you need brought into the meeting? Uh, Mr. Iskowitz. Thank you. Good evening, Chairman. Members of the board, Dante Alfieri on behalf of the applicant. Everybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Perfect, thank, thank you. you. Um, tonight we are here seeking the board's approval um, to convert the existing structure from a um, non-conforming use to a conforming use, which would be a warehouse storage area. I'm gonna have uh, one individual provide testimony tonight. Um, he, is a, he is the uh, member of the entity. Um, the property is located at 137 Alaire Road, block 47.01, lot one. Um, so I'm going to have our individual come up. Mrs. Hey. Iskwitz, can you unmute yourself and show your, show your face too? Hello. You see me? No. 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 Okay. Where is it now? How do I? One second, it's coming up. It says video started. You may want to check to see if sometimes there's a little um, shutter, something that blocks the camera. You have to like uh, move it over to the side. Camera's on. One second. Like it's not a button, you have to like physically do right, it. Right, I know, computer. I see, but I see the camera and it's yeah. on. Let me see. Uh, 
Uh, I've learned from my own mistakes. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's. Um, allow it all on. Um, the camera access is on. What else could it be? Because it says it's on the video. And no, it says it's on. So stop. The other option would be to stop the video. Are you able? Are you here. able to see yourself? No, mm -hmm. it's a black screen. Yeah, that's what we have. Right. Uh, is it maybe try go around? into settings. Go into settings yeah. and go into video. And maybe see if the video is uh, permitted. Hey Dante. Uh, yes. Do you want us to take like a five minute uh, recess while you work with uh, Mrs. Yes, log please, in please. from another computer. Okay, well, we'll Should take I a log short. In we'll, meanwhile, from another computer. Yeah, we'll take a short recess to allow you some time to get on. Okay, I can Thanks, log right. in from another computer meanwhile to, to, to work that out. Let me do that right here. So, Mr. Chairman, if you want to just announce that we're going to go into a brief recess. Yes, please. Today is. Uh, it, the time is 7.14. We're going to take a five-minute recess and reconvene at 7.19. Thank you, Chairman. You're welcome. The board will now take a short recess. We'll be back at 7.19. We'll now reconvene. Mr. Planning Alpin. board will now reconvene. Thank you, Chairman. Hey, uh, Ms. Iskowitz, I just need to swear you in. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give this board is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Yes, correct. Please state and spell your name for the record. C H U M I. Last name is I T Z K O W I T Z. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Alfieri. Uh, Ms. Iskwitz, what is your affiliation with the entity Alaire Road LLC? When did it start, you're asking? No, what, what's your affiliation? Oh, I'm the owner. You're the owner. Okay. Uh, and you've purchased the subject property? Mm -hmm, correct. Um, can you just describe to the board what your particular business operations would look like at this site? So we have 12 employees. Five of them are, um, seven of them actually are um, like by computer work, um, you know, taking care of, take, bringing in orders, answering phone calls, um, like secretarial work. And then we have five warehouse um, people who help with packaging out and shipping out our orders. And it is, so you have um, packaging, it's, it's a wholesale? Correct. And do you have any retail or showrooms with regards to this particular site? So we have a website online is where people shop us retail. And then um, like a showroom we have for our wholesalers, like for the beginning of seasons to come see the new products of the seasons. Okay, but you don't have, you won't have traditional retail on the site. Correct. And you are going to be occupying the entire building? Yes. Um, now, what type of deliveries are you expecting? So we get, you know, daily UPS um, deliveries, like that USPS, and they get pickups at the end of every day is UPS. Um, once in a while, we'll get an air shipment like FedEx Express, like that. And then um, like quarterly, we get shipments in from China, which is a container um, coming in to a lot to unload. Do you have tractor trailers making any deliveries? No. Okay, so you, the only type of deliveries you're expecting are box, box truck? Box, yeah. Okay. So Dante, um, can you just go back? Cause she said quarterly a container shows up. Usually that's like, a tractor trailer. So can you explain what she means by container? That's a truck. I don't have, I think it really, it's a truck that comes in like a full container that is unloaded. Um, so like an 18 wheeler? An 18 wheeler? It, I don't know what they like call a, it. A 40 foot container? Is that like mean I think from like China? Like, I don't know. It's like a big container. Yeah, so so that, then I would then I would suspect that that would be a tractor trailer type delivery and you're you anticipate that to be once a month yeah um no not once a month more like quarterly you know every two every two three months 
All right. So you expect at least one box truck. I mean, one tractor trailer delivery once a quarter, maybe twice a quarter. Correct. Um, now, you, you noted that you're going to be a single user at the site. Are you proposing any exterior improvements? No, I want to know just one question. Um, is there an option, like, because when we get the thing, like, what do I have to do? I'm just asking about, like, a loading dock. Is that, like, something able to do? I don't know. Right, right now, we're not proposing any any exterior improvements, correct? Correct. Okay. And it, you may, is there a loading space on the at the site currently? Yeah, there's a loading space, but it's not a loading dock. Like it doesn't go in deeper. But it's a space, so you yeah. can. That's where your deliveries will be uh, dropped off. Correct. All right. And you mentioned that you have twelve employees. What are the hours of operation? Nine to five. Nine to five, Monday, uh, Monday through Monday through Thursday, and then Friday it's nine to one. And then nothing over the weekend. Usually not. I'm saying here and there if it's a busy season once in a while, but ninety nine percent not. Okay. Um, now with this type of use, you're anticipating to generate um, office type uh, refuge and cardboard boxes. Explain what you're saying. What what type of trash are you expecting your use to generate? Cardboard boxes, yeah. It's like and then uh, just traditional office. Office, yeah. Garbage. Trash, and you're going to have containers located inside the building to to uh, handle that, and then have a private hauler take it out. Take it, correct. Okay. Um, you're not proposing any outdoor storage. No. All right. And um, with regards to the lighting on the site, is there is there suitable lighting outside in yes. the parking area? Mm -hmm. There's existing lighting now? Yeah, nice amount, yeah. And you're not proposing any additional lighting? Correct. And there is there, is there, is there an existing sign on the site? There is an existing sign from the old previous people like on the building itself. Are you replacing that existing sign? We would like to, yeah. Is it going to be the same size as the current sign? Covering it, yeah. Okay, so it's not gonna exceed the size of the existing sign. Correct. Um, and then with regards to the exterior, there's a, there's a um, requirement to I guess there's a there's a requirement with regards to breaking up the facade of the exterior, and you're you're willing to work with the town to um, make a modification to the exterior for the facade to comply. Yes. All right, so Dante, I just want to be clear. So you're the you're saying that the applicant will comply with the architectural ordinance requirements? Yes. Okay. No. 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 They're not going to, the bump outs are not going to be there, but they're going to upgrade the facade. And if the board is okay with it, they can do that in coordination with my office, but you're not well, going to have, have like to, the, they're going to have to describe a little something of what they're going to do then if it's not going to be compliant because relief has to be granted. So there needs to be more than just, we're going to do something and work with Jen. So is there something in particular, um, that's being proposed that we can put into the resolution that so at least there's some sort of understanding of the direction that you're moving in? We propose they're definitely, it. go, go ahead, ahead, Dante. Go ahead, Jen. Um, they're ahead. definitely improving the facade exterior with um, new, I guess it's siding. Is it siding on the building? Um, and to, you know, because it looks a little old and tired right now. So they're going to kind of improve the look of the exterior as well as the, the, the top, which I don't know what you want to call it. It's kind of a bump out on the top that goes around like a band that goes around the top um, in, in a grayish color, which is similar to what's there, but um, newer. But there won't be, at, you know, and it's uh, the facade has courses in it. So it kind of has a breakup of it but there are no it doesn't bump out you know like the three feet that we typically require in the ordinance there you know but it's an existing building so they're going to upgrade the facade 
similar to what it looks like, but newer and fresher. Okay. Yeah, and to, to, to piggyback off that, it's almost um, a, a, a rim that would be installed on the exterior top portion of the building to break up and the facade. Jen, in your opinion, based upon what you've learned about what is proposed, do you feel comfortable that uh, from a good planning standpoint, will uh, the town will be well served? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. And I would like to point out that there are um, two existing conditions. Um, there is a existing condition of 99,936 uh, square feet where 120,000 square feet is a requirement for the minimum lot area and it's an existing condition, as well as the rear yard setback where 50 feet is required, and we have 49.9 uh, .9 feet. And uh, as we testified earlier, we're not proposing any changes to the exterior of the site. Okay. Any landscaping improvements, Jen, that may be needed? Um, no, I, I, I think that, you know, we had questions about how they were gonna handle the refuse, but I think that the applicant indicated they're going to have containers keep them inside the building so no outdoor storage of those containers because there's no enclosure and they'll be picked up by um, a private hauler um, the only thing that I would defer probably to Jordan on is the need for uh, the loading space like while I'm looking at the survey there looks like there's area behind where a truck could stop and unload but it doesn't seem to be striped for loading so you know and that would really just be necessary for you know, the larger truck that comes in once every three months or so. Um, but I, there is area there and there is circulation around the entire perimeter of the building. So um, I think that, you know, the site could use a little love. So I'm happy to see somebody coming in and cleaning it up. Mr. Elferi, I'm, I'm assuming you don't have any type of exhibit or anything that you can show right as far as where the loading would take place? No, we do not. Okay, so as, as Jen mentioned, there is space in the back of the building, um, but it's not striped. So I assume that unless you're, unless you're not striping it, um, relief would be required uh, as a design waiver. Um, Jordan, I'd rather not give relief for, for a loading dock if the planning board needs it. Let's just ask for the, the striping. We have no objection to providing the striping in that area. Thank you. And um, as far as storage, you're not going to have any overnight vehicles or anything? Is it Swiss? What does that mean, overnight vehicles? Like people are you, you going to store vehicles overnight at the parking lot? No. And you're not anticipating any deliveries overnight? So, oh, and I have a, when a container does come in, they sometimes take a day or two to unload it. So the container would remain for a day or two, you would unload it and then it would be picked back up? Correct. And this is one, this is one of those deliveries that would happen once or twice a quarter. Exactly, yeah. Well, it's still though on, on that, our <laughs> ordinance does have uh, requirements for outdoor uh, storage areas. Um, I believe it needs to be in the rear of the property and it needs to be screened so whether it's one day, two days, 50 days, that requirement comes into play. So um, I'm assuming that's a uh, relief, uh, Mr. Alfieri, that's being requested. Yes, we are gonna request relief from that requirement. Did I, uh, Jen and Jordan, did I recollect that correctly? Yes, that's correct. Yes. It, looks, it looks like the, the loading zone would be in the rear of the building, but I would not no say that screening. it's fully screened. So, okay, you're required for that. I have a question. Is there a rendering at all done on this? Not yet. Okay, thank you. Mr. Alfieri, I'm seeing here from the fire bureau that uh, the fire bureau wants to chime in on, on updating the fire lanes. I, I would suspect that you will comply and coordinate with the fire bureau to do any additional striping or fire lanes that they require? Yes, we will. Thank you. Mm 
Okay. Is that the end of your testimony? Yes, Chairman. Jen, Jordan, I mean, do we have enough here to be able to, to feel comfortable? Uh, I'm comfortable. The, the, you're comfortable? Yeah. I am as well. And if we want, we can just run through the, the relief real quick just to make sure everyone's on the same page. Thank you. Um, so you will comply with mm -hmm. providing the loading space by striping out um, a space in the rear of the building, and then you'll maintain your drive aisles as well. Correct. You'll submit something for that. Correct. And then you're requesting relief um, for outdoor storage, which is the tractor trailer that will um, load overnight. Um, and that is from section 188-79. Correct. Am I missing anything else, Jen? No, I think you covered everything. Okay, so just the there one. The, uh, just the one then. We, we would just wrap into that the two pre existing conditions also right. that That's were it. testified to. So, Jordan, just so I'm clear, then um, on page three of your report, the relief from section 188 107 B is no longer necessary? Correct. They will comply by striping a loading zone. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Eileen. Yes. My video went out. I heard the entire thing. I've been trying to get it back on. I can log back out and come back on, or is it okay? Uh, just you, Mr. Cristiano, uh, you're not providing testimony, so it's not required that you have your video. Mm -hmm. As long as you're telling us that um, you were here for the entire hearing, you can continue to participate in this manner. Yes, I was. Okay. Yeah. All right. We want to open it up to the public. Eileen, please yes. open it to the public. It's now 7.35. We'll open it up for a minute. At this point in time, the chairman has opened the hearing up for members of the public. If anyone has questions or would like to comment on the application, please use the raise your hand feature. I'll bring you in one at a time. You will need audio and video. You'll be sworn in and required to give your name and address. Thank you. Okay, anybody raise their hand, Eileen? No one has raised their hand. Okay, we'll close the public portion. Does anybody on the board have anything else they'd like to say about this application? I just have a question. Yes, that's all I think. If the only place to leave the tractor trailer is in the back of the building, and it will take days to unload, and it's only 49 feet clearance in the back of the building, and you now have a tractor trailer back there, could an emergency vehicle get through there if they had to? I think yes. we'll let our professionals respond. Yes, <clears throat> that's more than enough room. A typical drive aisle is 24 feet wide. So okay. the tractor trailer would be pushed up against the building and there would be more than enough room for it to circulate around. Perfect, thank you. Good question, thank you. I'll definitely check for that too when I re receive a revised plan. And I'm, and I'm sure that the fire department will be happy to chime in on that as well as part of their, their review letter where they, they said they'd be redoing the striping around the building. Thank you, guys. All right, uh, Mr. Alferi, do you want to summarize what the, uh, the application is and I guess the relief that's needed and what has been agreed to and what hasn't been agreed to please, for, the, for the resolution? Yes, Chairman. Uh, so uh, as noted, we are here seeking the board's approval to convert the existing structure from a non-conforming use to a conforming use for a warehouse. Um, we've requested relief um, from the uh, loading off or overnight loading 
um, prohibition. Um, we've requested relief with regards okay, to the relief is going to be limited to, to two days, to so no more than two days. It's two days. Oh, for your testimony. Um, as a as a condition of the approval, um, we'd be willing to strike the loading area. Um, we're going to update the fire lanes in in, in concert with the uh, fire bureau, and there are two pre existing conditions which are the uh, minimum lot area and the rear yard setback. You mentioned- and Mr. Alfieri, I would just add to that, that uh, the applicant is gonna confirm um, emergency access to the, to the site. And, and I'm sorry, did you, did you make mention about the working with our professionals to spruce up the facade? I failed to mention that, but yes, that would be also a condition of the approval. Jen, Jordan, do we miss anything? No, that, that covers my list. Thank you. If nobody Thank else you. has further questions, I'll entertain a motion, please. I'll make motion. To approve. Thank you. Approve. One second. Sorry, who I'll was second. second? Oh. I'll second. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Bavai? Yes. Mr. Cristiano? Yes. Mr. Dorado? Yes. Mr. Greenfield? Yes. Mr. Spanville? Yes. Ms. Talenti? Yes. And Chairman Tannenhaus? Yes. Motion carries. Applications approved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman, members of the board. We appreciate your time tonight. All right, have a good night. You Thank too. You. <laughs> All right, do we have a master plan update of any sort? The draft documents uh, were vetted, uh, revised, and we sent out to the subcommittee for their review. So both of the circulation element and the land use element are done and out to the planning board or to the planning board master plan subcommittee currently. Great, thank you. Uh, executive session, any need? Could you no, no, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Without, without further ado, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. Okay, I'll all in favor. Aye. Everyone Aye. have a good night. Aye. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Don't you forget our next meeting is not the third Thursday. It's the fourth Thursday because of Passover. So it's April 28th. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Eileen. Good, good night. night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.